sentenced to four and a half years in a trial with obvious political overtones. The punishment for Alice Beliatsky's fight for democracy and human rights in the dictatorship of Belarus. Я зрозуміла, що гета жахливі речі не абсолютно не надають мені спокою і не надають більше переживання у власне за Олесі. Зрозуміла, що я сама можу так само в дійсні прогнозувати не найкраще розвиття події, які можуть там скластися у власне з ним. She's anguished, scared and sad. What's happening to her husband in prison? Nobody knows. And their son Adam has been forced into exile after constant harassments from the feared security service, the KGB. Ну, отремливается, что страх з'являється, ну, неодъемною часткою життя. І я к этому году решиться, это тяжко сказать, но ты мусишь за этим жить. God morgon. Protesterna slogs brutalt ner av polis och flera politiker greps i vitryska Minsk när det stod klart att president Lukashenko sett till att bli omvald i gårdagens val. Minst tre av oppositionskandidaterna misshandlades av kravallpolisen. More than 600 people were arrested during the protests against electoral fraud in the 2010 presidential election. And many of them were sentenced to prison. Alice Beljatsky, leader of Jasna, a human rights organization banned by Belarusian authorities, is today one of 14 political prisoners still held captive. But his colleagues are continuing the struggle for democracy, despite the risk of being imprisoned themselves. We collected information about uh, tortures of political prisoners. Uh, first of all, uh, this is uh, conditions in the KGB prison. Uh, they said that uh, very often uh, they was naked in a big hole. It was very cold and they stay many hours in the wall. Uh, and uh, also they said that uh, KGB uh, officers, they was in mask, in black masks. And uh, they used, uh, very often they use uh, the uh, let's say, the, the power against the political prisoners. And uh, other kind of things that, uh, according with the international law, we can uh, qualify, qualify it like uh, torture. After the presidential elections in Belarus 2010, Alias Belatsky was portrayed by the Belarusian government as the public enemy number one. That was only due to his uh, commitment for human rights and democracy. Now there are alarming reports about the treatment of Alias and, and other political prisoners. And we in the international community has a special responsibility to do everything we can in our powers to get Alias and other political prisoners in Belarus released. Я з самого початку стараюсь це слово використати зі свого вжитку. Особливо дочинені до Алісі. Надія і на обнадіює дає можливість будувати нікі з плани і вельмі немагчима по сутності буває пережити крах цих всіх планів тому.